Hello, welcome to this neurology station for the MRCP PACES examination. My name is Dr. Punika and I'm the examiner. Along with me, I have Dr. Sumi Giridharan, who is the candidate for the examination. So, Dr. Giridharan, the instruction for today's examination is this is a 46 year old lady who has been referred to the neurology clinic with pain in her feet. Would you like to examine her lower limbs neurologically, please? Afternoon, Hello. my name is Dr. Giridhar and I'm one of the doctors. Hello. Is it okay if uh, I call you Nettie, is that okay? Yeah, that's yeah. Fine. Is it okay if I examine the neurological system of your legs today? Yeah. yeah. Um, have you got any pain anywhere? Uh, it's a little bit sore. So, is it okay? I'll try and be very gentle, but just let me know if it's causing okay. too much pain. Okay. Do you mind if I just lift this up a little no, bit higher? Fine. Thank you. I'm just going to go to the end of the bed. So the first thing I'm going to do is just check the sensation with this cotton wool. Is it okay if I just have a little feel of your chest just yeah. to show you? So it should feel like this. Yeah. I'm going to start on your leg. So if you close your eyes and tell me when you can feel me touching you with the cotton wool, please. Can you feel that? I can feel that. Right. Yeah. Can you feel that? I can feel that, yeah. Yeah? Can you feel that? No. There? 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 No. Okay. I'm just going to move the cotton wool from the bottom of your leg to the top. Tell me when it starts feeling back to yeah. normal, okay? So, is it starting to feel normal yet? No. Is it starting, to, starting feel to feel normal? It's starting to feel normal now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I just do the same on the other leg. Is it still. Starting to, starting to feel that. Yeah, I can feel that. Perfect, thank you. The next thing I'm going to do is just to test the sensation with this pin. It's got two sides, a sharp side and a blunt side. If I just mm -hmm. demonstrate what it feels like. So this is the sharp side, yeah, mm -hmm. and that's the blunt side. Okay? okay, so if I get you to close your eyes and tell me when it feels sharp and when it feels blunt. Okay. Feel that. Is it sharp or blunt? Uh, that's sharp. Yep. And that? Yeah. And that? Sharp or blunt? Mm. Blunt. Okay. And that sharp or blunt? Yeah, I can feel that. Sharp or blunt? Do you think? Sharp. Sharp. What's this feel? Sharp or blunt? Blunt. Sharp or blunt? Blunt. Okay, you can open your eyes again. What I'm going to do next is just check the position of your toes when your mm -hmm. eyes are closed. So what I'll simply do is take your big toe and move it down or up. If you close your eyes for me and if you tell me whether it's going down or up, okay? Which way mm -hmm. is it going now? Down or up? Down. And now? Up. Good. And if I do the same on the other side, so if this is down, and this is up. This is down. This is up. Good. Okay. I'm just going to test the vibration sense in your legs. Mm -hmm. So if I come up there again and sh show you what it feels like. So you should feel a little vibration like that on mm -hmm. where I place you. Okay. So if you close your eyes and tell me if you can feel a vibration or just a cold sensation. It's cold. It's cold, okay. What does that feel like? Cold. Okay. What does that feel like? Cold. Cold. Mm -hmm. Cold. What does that feel like? Cold. Okay. I'm just going to move up a bit higher. I can feel that. Yep, 
With a vibration? A vibration, yeah. And what about this side? Yeah, there is a vibration. Okay, perfect. Okay, would you like to present your case, please? Yes, um, so this 46-year-old lady is presenting with pain in both legs on neurological examination, uh, she demonstrates loss of three sensation, uh, which is fine touch, pin prick, and uh, vibration sense up to the knees. Okay. Uh, however, joint position sense was uh, intact and retained. Um, so, in conclusion, uh, she I would like to complete my examination by doing a motor examination, okay. but she is demonstrating a symmetrical, distal, predominantly sensory neuropathy. Okay, good. Okay, so you said she's got a distal, mm -hmm. predominantly sensory polyneuropathy. Mm -hmm. What do you think is the most likely cause in this particular patient? Um, Tell so me just one cause. Most likely cause would probably be diabetic uh, polyneuropathy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let us just ask her, have you had diabetes? Uh, for about 20 years. About 20 years now? Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you tend to look after your sugar? Mm, no. Right. Okay. I eat a lot of sweet things. Oh, okay. Well, you will need to be careful. Okay. So let's just come back to the um, neuropathy that she has. Mm -hmm. um, what pathological process might be going on? with the nerves? Um, I think because it's a predominantly sensory neuropathy, there's probably involvement of the axonal uh, nerves uh, and the long fibers causing the sensory loss. Uh, okay, so you think there's an axonal loss mm. here yep. involving the long fibers? fibers. Yep. Okay, right. Um, say for example, this lady does have a diabetic polyneuropathy. Mm -hmm. Have you come across any other forms of diabetic neuropathy in patients with long-standing diabetes? Yes, um, so patients with diabetes can also have uh, amyotrophic uh, polyradiculopathy which predominantly affects the lumbar sacral uh, plexus and can be quite painful in the beginning when it develops. Right. Um, patients with diabetes can also develop cranial neuropathy, so other types of mononeuritis. Okay. Um, Okay. Predominantly, if it affects the cranial nerves, it tends to affect the third, fourth or sixth cranial nerves causing okay. ocular palsies. Yeah. can also affect the median nerves and the ulnar nerves causing isolated mononeuropathies. Patients with long-standing poor glycemic control can also develop autonomic neuropathy, uh, okay. manifesting with symptoms of postural hypotension or gastroparesis. Okay, okay, that's good. Mm. Now, just tell me, can you think of one um, intervention mm -hmm. that you would institute in this patient to improve mm -hmm. her progression of the polyneuropathy. Mm -hmm. So I think the most important intervention is ensuring that she has good glycemic control uh, to prevent worsening of the neuropathy and development of complications associated with diabetic polyneuropathy. And I would like to know what her HbA1c is and what uh, medication she takes for diabetes to optimize this. Right, okay. Have you come across any programs that help patients in her particular situation? Yes, so NICE advocates that all patients with diabetes must be enrolled into the National Foot Screening Program. Okay. Patients with low risk uh, feet should be managed in the community it, it, by the screening program and if they are identified as medium, being medium to high risk, they should be urgently referred uh, for uh, secondary care at a multidisciplinary foot clinic, whichever okay. is available locally. What are the components of a multidisciplinary foot Clinic. So I think NICE dictates that a nice multidisciplinary food clinic should consist of a, a diabetologist, um, a podi specialist podiatrist with an interest in diabetic feet, um, preferably a microbiologist, um, a vascular surgeon or surgeon of some sort, um, and all these pe people should review the patient. Okay, mm -hmm. excellent. Thank you. Thank you.